a predator so powerful that even the dinosaurs weren't safe. Imagine a beast lurking beneath ancient waters, jaws agape, waiting for its chance to strike. At over 10 meters long, it dwarfed today's saltwater crocodiles and could crush bones with a bite force unmatched in the natural world. This was Dinosuchus, the terror crocodile of the Cretaceous period. But what made this ancient predator so deadly? How did it reign supreme in an era ruled by giants? Around 80 million years ago, North America looked very different. A massive inland sea, the Western Interior Seaway, split the continent in two. This vast waterway teemed with life, giant turtles, colossal fish, and of course, dinosaurs like hadrosaurs and ceratopsians often wandered near the water's edge. But it wasn't just the dinosaurs that thrived here. Beneath the murky depths, Dinosuchus was waiting, a crocodilian so massive it could take down prey the size of a tyrannosaur. Dinosuchus wasn't just big, it was a true apex predator, perfectly adapted for a life of ambush hunting. It had powerful limbs to propel its massive body through the water silently, bony scoots that acted like armor, and teeth designed for crushing rather than slicing. Modern saltwater crocodiles, the largest reptiles alive today, can grow up to six meters and weigh around 1,000 kilograms. But Dinosuchus was a titan among crocodilians. Fossil evidence suggests it could grow up to 10, 12 meters long and weigh over 8,000 kilograms, nearly double the size of today's largest crocs. Its bite force was terrifying. Estimated at over 18,000 newtons, it could crush the bones of even the most robust dinosaurs. For comparison, the bite of a modern saltwater crocodile measures around 3,700 newtons, and even the mighty T-Rex only boasted 12,800 newtons. Simply put, Dinosuchus had jaws built to obliterate. Dinosuchus wasn't chasing its prey on land, it didn't need to. Much like its modern-day relatives, it was an ambush predator, hiding just beneath the water's surface, perfectly camouflaged, waiting for the right moment to strike. Its eyes and nostrils were positioned high on its head, allowing it to remain nearly invisible while scanning for prey above. When an unsuspecting dinosaur came to the water's edge for a drink or to cool off, Dinosuchus would explode out of the water using its immense weight and jaw strength to drag its victim into the depths. Prey didn't stand a chance. The water amplified the croc's strength, and once those jaws locked in, escape was impossible. While Dinosuchus could and likely did hunt dinosaurs, they weren't its only food source. Its crushing teeth were perfectly suited for breaking through the hard shells of massive turtles and ammonites, which also thrived in the Western Interior Seaway. In fact, Researchers believe this versatility in diet is what allowed Dinosuchus to grow so large. It wasn't picky. And like its modern relatives, Dinosuchus is still shrouded in mystery. Fossils of its skull and scutes give us clues about its size and structure, but no complete skeleton has been found. Interestingly, bite marks on dinosaur fossils match the spacing and shape of Dinosuchus' teeth, providing direct evidence of its hunting habits. Its fossils have been unearthed across the United States, from Montana to Texas, showing that it was widespread and adaptable to different environments. But despite these findings, there's still so much we don't know. How long did it live? How fast did it grow? And could it have been even larger than we estimate? Today, crocodilians like the Nile crocodile and saltwater crocodile are a faint echo of the terror that was Dinosuchus. Yet, the story of this prehistoric beast reminds us that size and power don't guarantee survival. The changing world after the Cretaceous wiped out giants like Dinosuchus, but their legacy lives on in the reptiles that continue to thrive today.